Well, hello there, my name is Vladimir, we are, well not live, but we are TGU18 and today is a white shirt day and I'm joined by Dan from Ibanez. Well, hello. Well, hello there. <laughs> it's good to be here. <laughs> and today we're checking these amazing Ibanez AZ series guitars and this guy knows a lot about them and well, Let's just get started. What was the idea of the series? Because this is something new for you guys. Absolutely. Yeah, that line was uh, basically built from scratch. And when you're asking about what the idea behind that was, uh, it was basically that Ivan has wanted to design a guitar that serves all the needs of player's player. Mm. You know, we've got we've got artists like Tom Quayle, Martin Miller, uh, those kind of um, calibers that pretty good, pretty pretty good players. They they have a certain <laughs> amount of technique and also a very good tone and but but their playing style is also pretty mm. let's say unique and uh, they have certain yeah. they have a certain requirement when it comes to the specs of the instrument. Mm. So like two or three years ago, we approached those kind of artists and told them, well, if you could build a guitar, your dream guitar, how would that how would that look like? What mm -hmm. specs would a guitar have? And basically, um, you know, the team, the whole Ibanez team, they flew to Milan, they flew to the States, they flew to Asia, they flew to like all over the world and basically collected the ideas from the artists. And then they nice. took all those idea, ideas and, and narrowed it down to one basic concept. And that basic concept is what you see here. It's called the AZ line, which stands for that it comprises everything from A to Z. Ah, now you I know. get it. Now I get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah. It feels like I get the whole player's guitar because a lot of things like just the how the jack is made. Yeah, yeah. It's it's just so clever. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like I said, it's built from scratch. So you you, you start basically with a like the traditional S type mm. design of a body, and then you ask your, yourself, okay, why is that? For example, why is the the the, um, the neck joint? Why is that not recessed a little bit? Mm. Why is it not um, shaped in a way that it's much more comfortable? Same with the plug. You know, why is it not hidden so you cannot just easily unplug when you're on stage? Yeah, exactly. You know, if you step on the cable or something like that. And so they went through all the specs, really, from top mm. to bottom, and and designed it from scratch. And basically, uh, the special thing about AZ is that all the parts with um, I think the tuners being the exception are proprietary, so you cannot find them you, uh, oh, on any other instrument. Really you cannot cool. simply buy them. It's really just made for this guitar. It's like a, a custom tailored uh, pair of pants, or uh, I don't know. That's awesome. Yeah. And for example, this bridge. I think have you had these kind of bridges before? No, because this is also a new development. Um, Ivan is partnered with uh, the great guys at GoTo, mm. and I mean they already provide the. Um, Basically, the hardware for the players' player instruments. You know, mm. there are other brands that are using GoTo as well. So um, we approached them and we basically asked them, okay, what what can we do? And uh, they a beat so many different materials, so mm. many different shapes of the saddle, so many different uh, string spacings. And basically, what it came down is with that uh, specific GoTo bridge T1802 um, that has a slightly narrow string spacing, which is kind of oh. significant when you play it because it allows you that, uh, uh, to to apply those kind of more advanced playing techniques with without having the strings being too uh, far away from each other. So it's slightly narrow compared to mm. a regular 10.8 uh, string spacing. Um, and it's also made of um, various materials. Like for the premium line, we have steel saddles and a, um, a brass tremolo block. Mm. And on the more um, expensive Japanese line, the prestige line, we have titanium saddles. So they also have a different um, tonality to them, you know, nice. depending on the, the material they use. And then going further, up the neck, we have uh, custom wound Seymour Duncan Hyperion pickups. We have uh, HSS versions or uh, double humbucker versions, mm. depending on the preference of the player and uh, you know the tonality that you're looking for. Yeah. And they have been custom designed for AZ. You know, they they are just serving the purpose to give you the best tone for that type of guitar. Plus, we have added the dynamic switching. This is uh, that little thing over there which gives you not just oh, five yeah. sounds it gives you ten different sounds yeah and you already tried it out maybe we can we can give it a, a yeah. shot later it's also interesting that the volume doesn't fall off you yeah know, it, it's, it's, it's like to me it's like you went to a bunch of artists and then a bunch of friends at different manufacturing parts and like you built your dream <laughs> guitar yeah. where like yeah. the, the things that are in the way or something like that like all of that has been kind of tailored it's amazing yeah. and uh, I didn't actually tell you this before the video, but I'm a kind of ex-Ibanez guy. When I started playing, I had a cheap 
guitar I started with, but then next two or three of my guitars were all Ibanezes. I started with the RG series, okay. and then I used the is the S series, uh -huh. the very thin I, version. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I was super happy with those at the okay. time, and later I've kind of gotten into more vintage instruments and there's something like this feels modern but still like even the neck shape is not that far away from my telly and it feels familiar right away it's well designed <laughs> <laughs> yeah it, the neck is really something special because it's supposed to provide you that kind of broken in feeling you know? yeah if you have yeah, an instrument exactly. that you've played for ages it just feels so so natural it just feels so home to you yeah. and this neck is, is all about that you know yeah. it's it's a roasted maple mm -hmm. For the Japanese version, it's also a special, um, a special treatment called S-Tech treatment, okay. uh, where it's even more refined and, and, and treated with nitrogen. Um, but the neck itself is, you know, a little bit of a departure from the regular Ibanez shapes. Yeah, exactly. It's not, it's not super thin. It's really well rounded. It's not super fat. It's not a baseball bat, mm. but it's somewhere in the middle, and it just feels like a vintage instrument. But we're not trying to reinvent a. Str a Strat or a Tele, yeah. you know, we're trying to give you the instrument that uh, a modern player in the 21st century would uh, long for. Yeah, and uh, as I mentioned, I've played Ibanez's and this, there's something familiar, but it's still its own thing. And because, as I said, I'm more into kind of vintage style instruments, I guess nowadays, mm -hmm. this is a great kind of mixture between the two. And yeah, and there's like, I love these details, like the what do you call them? Illuminating dots? Side yeah, dots? Lumen lays or glow in the dark yeah. inlays. They are pretty cool on stage. I yeah. mean, they can like save your ass <laughs> when you're playing. Yeah, exactly. Right. Small details that make a big difference when you're actually playing. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, that's awesome. Should yeah. we check out some of the sounds? Yeah, please, please, please. So, I have the. This is the premium series. Yeah, this uh, is the AZ242, like 24 frets and yep. two pickups. So. Well, pretty yeah. easy to grasp, and this is the premium version. So this is made in Indonesia. Like I said, uh, slightly different, um, slightly different specs when it comes to the hardware because it has mm. steel saddles and a brass tremolo block. But it's got the same pickups. It's got this. Uh, it's got a base wood body, um, mm. whereas the uh, Prestige version has a has a alder body. But apart from that, everything is uh, like similar. We've got stainless steel frets, so they ain't gonna wear off. You've yeah. got the lumen lays. That's, that's really cool. Um, you've got the nice go-to. Um, hub M um, locking tuners that mm. are also height adjusted. Um, wow. Yeah, and that's basically it. I mean, it's a no frills instrument. Yeah, that's awesome. So I think I'll quickly shuffle through all of the 10 sounds. Okay, please. Just yeah. to demonstrate. And I'm plugged into this awesome Synergy amp and it has the diesel VH4 module in it. And from there, the signal goes to the, I think I'm, I'm on the Universal Audio Ox. Actually, think maybe you could explain what's happening. Like th these, with this switch, as it is right now, mm -hmm. these are kind of the normal the bridge pickup. Then there's is it these? Yep. Then it's both. Correct. And then it's the auto coil. Yeah. Then it's this position. It's again these, but are they different? Um, I think these are the auto coils in that way. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then we've and, got just and then I come. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But when we flip this stuff happens yeah then um, we have a, a coil tab option so basically ah. what, what's happening is that um, a few of the windings of the of the pickups are reduced so you have a, a kind of different signal but the volume is not dropping that's really cool yeah so maybe you can a b it maybe you yeah just I'll, I'll demonstrate the... I'll be on the bridge pickup mm -hmm. and this is the normal version That is so cool. Like the volume doesn't drop. Yeah, and it's a useful sound. I mean, yeah, I really exactly. like both settings. Exactly. Yeah. Like this is for me at least. This would be like a perfect live slash studio guitar because I don't use pedals that much. I mm -hmm. just set up one good sound on the amp and then I'm good to go. Yep. And this is oh, amazing. I'll <laughs> I'll demonstrate what hap what's happening. Mm -hmm. 
here on the other setting pickup settings as well. so many sounds and from one guitar and like they're all really you like useful like mm -hmm. you I would actually use like all of them at some point that's really cool Good so uh, should we have a quick playthrough with that yeah, one because please. it has slightly different pickups boom with the magic of editing powers I have this guitar now <laughs> <laughs> So I think I'll shuffle through the settings quickly. Uh, is this the same bridge pickup as on that one? It's the same pickup yeah. and we've got the matching single coils here. There's only one um, deviation from that kind of dynamics mm. switching. Um, and this is that in the bridge position, it doesn't matter if this is engaged or not, it's always the bridge pickup. So it allows ah. you if you're using single coil sounds, so this is your safe haven. So if you go from the bridge or from the middle position and then you need a little bit more, mm. then you just go down so and no so matter what you're Yeah, so it's kind of always there for you. Yeah. Ooh, that's always you, there you, for you. you I like you, that. <laughs> it's always you just made my decision for like picking which is my favorite a bit more difficult because this is a really clever feature. But on the other hand, I really like the neck humbucker sound. Yeah. But you give it a try because this, these humbuckers, they are, as I said, like custom design also mm. for this guitar. So they are supposed to match the bridge pickup perfectly. So nice. you have all the great sounds that you could wish okay. for, basically. Yeah, let's shuffle through all of the sounds. Switch. Mm -hmm. I'll demonstrate it. Well, actually, yeah. There's, there won't be any difference when I correct. <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. It's so clever. That's an interesting sound. Mm -hmm. Wait a second, it's a single coil, but what? All right, I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. So, we also, besides this, we also have the premium series, and I think the prestige series. Yeah, sorry, yeah, prestige <laughs> series. They are premium and prestige, so. And they are all pretty. Yes. So I thought we could talk a, a bit about the differences because I think this is something people will probably ask, like why would I be getting this one when there's this one? Mm -hmm. So you go. I go. Yeah, basically, like I already said, it's uh, it's not like this is a budget version of this mm -hmm. guitar. It's just a interpretation. Yeah. So with the premium line, which uh, clocks in at uh, 1,200 euros, you have a basswood body. Mm. Uh, so this is a rock and roll monster. It's really yeah. a no frets guitar. If you dial it in, it's pretty easy to get a nice tone out of that. Um, it, it has like basically the same specs, and it, it feels like the same guitar. It's just mm. a different tonality. The premium, uh, the Prestige line now is like the top notch model. So mm. it features an older body. It features um, a nice top on in this version. Mm. There are also um, versions that don't have a maple top. Actually, um, well, yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. another one. Yeah. Then we have a, a Aztec treated neck which feels very smooth even smoother than mm. the one on the, it, on the it, premium it one. does look a bit different it's a yeah darker. it's a little bit darker yeah if you a b that directly you can see it like this is what like all the other companies do with roasting mm. so it makes the neck um, very sturdy mm. it, it ain't gonna it ain't gonna um 
warp or move or mm. anything so it's really straight out of the box you the guitar is ready to go and this is even even better it mm. a little bit smoother feel a darker tone to it as well um, but basically yeah diff two different guitars they really have a different tone mm. and this one has a little bit in terms of the frequency personally I think it's uh, a little bit wider so you mm. got more tonal options you can go from jazz to rock to metal to whatever whereas this is more like the uh, go-to rock acts it can mm. also go clean and everything but this this provides you a little bit like five percent more tone basically mm. and I mean there's also there's also need for justification for price discrepancy you know sure. this is this is twice the money of this one um, but it's also uh, a slightly better guitar so to say but yeah. they're, they're, it's like with children you know you've got children one one children <laughs> is good at school the other one is not so good at school the other one is good at sports whereas the other one is not good at sports you know you have to love both and you have to, to check out basically both guitars to decide which one is yours yeah. because we have a lot of artists that AB both and uh, prefer the basswood one because yeah. they are used to basswood as, as their preferred wood mm. on their instruments and bass wood has been uh, has been wood uh, on on jam guitars, for example, for so long. So um, basically, yeah, for some yeah. people, this is the way to go. But uh, yeah, this is the like I said, the the prestige version uh, features the same thing. It mm. has a the GoTo Bridge AT T eighteen oh two with the titanium saddles, Ooh. so it's a very nice sound as well. Um, it's got a bone nut and also very nice sounds. Maybe you could you can play through it quickly. Yeah, actually, let's do it because. Everybody wants to hear the difference since okay. I have this and this basically has the same pickup setup. I'll go through like two or three sounds on this. Okay. We'll s swap to this and again with the magical powers of editing, I'll you can actually A B them quickly because I think I'm interested to hear myself what what are the differences because it's a different tone wood and without getting into that debate, I know there's differences. <laughs> It's definitely different. It to me, let's use these guitar terms. It's more open sounding to mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. Like it, it's a bit less punchy. So what you actually just said that this is more like a more a bit maybe a bit more versatile. Mm -hmm. kind, that sense kind of, yeah. uh, you can get softer sounds. Let's put it that way. Yeah, I can hear that. Interested to hear the actual clips how they go. Yeah. <laughs> There's a guy. Yeah, last minute. All right. So by the magical powers of editing, he actually has a different guitar. So this is. This kind of version available as well. This is a, a special version for 2018. This uh, is an AZ that features a very thick core top. Maybe we can Ooh. see that. What? Here you go. A very thick core top, and nice. it's not just it's not just thick. It's also super super nice. And <laughs> every guitar is unique. Like we have, uh, I think a dozen of these available. Um, they already went to the dealer, so this version is available, for example, at Toman, mm. and everyone is unique, and they sound, they, they add a little bit more um, low end, the, the core top adds a little mm. bit more low end, I don't know why, but it's, it's slightly different, and uh, it's also like an absolutely dream instrument. This is the, mm. the high end version of the AZ line. It's not for everybody, for the ones that need mm. that kind of exotic type. So but it's pretty. It is super And it probably sounds really good. Uh, <laughs> 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 no, I know it sounds awesome. All right. Hey, thanks so much for doing this. You're very welcome. <laughs> this weird handshake thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are so many ways, like ghetto fist, or just <laughs> or this one. I don't know. <laughs> it's just we can just shake hands and say, yeah, it was a pleasure. It was a pleasure. Thank you so much. Check out the Ibanez Easy series from Thoman. I'll put a link to their website and I'll po put a link to Thoman as well, so you can get yours. Again, thanks for doing this, thanks for watching, there will be subscribe button things and more of my videos somewhere on the screen. Thanks for watching, I shall see you next time! <laughs>